Hello everyone, I would like to go over how you can get a shipping container at wholesale cost. Because most likely if you are getting a shipping container either for storage or to live in, it is best to determine the type of quality of the container you want. You can either get a used or a brand new container. Now the used containers are used more than once, and it may be a gamble not realizing how often it has been used. I have purchased used containers sight unseen that may look terrible with holes and large dents, and sometimes I may get lucky and find minor damage. Other times, the inside of used containers may smell really bad and may never know what was in there. On the other hand, if you get a brand new container that is called a one-trip container, these are brand new, only used once overseas, and then sold at the train or seaports. These containers barely have any dents or scratches and smell so good that you can pretty much eat right off the floor. Generally, used containers can be half the cost of a one-trip container, but the question you must ask for yourself is if you want to build your container home out of a used container, not knowing what was shipped in there in the first place, having to get rid of the smell, and finally having to fix all the rust and dents and scratches. In my opinion, it is well worth the money to get a brand new one-trip container to avoid the hours of stress and worry to clean up and fix a used container. Now when it comes to cost, shipping container prices have skyrocketed due to the supply chain backed up at the ports and major delays in shipping from freight and finally manufacturing the containers alone overseas have been getting delayed. Prices have gone up by 30% or more since the beginning of COVID. The only way I was able to keep prices as low as possible is to work directly from the ports. If you go to a major train yard full of shipping containers stacked four to five units high, I recommend going to the office of that facility and ask if they have numbers of vendors that rent cargo space and see if you can buy off some containers from them. Most likely they will have a list to call and I have been able to save 25% or more of the cost compared to working with typical container wholesalers. The other more difficult way is to go directly to the seaports in Oakland or San Diego, California and other ports and ask the same question at the docks and see if you can work directly to who rents out the spots in the yard. The only way I was able to make this happen is to either myself go out to meet the office at the port or to have my truck drivers do it for me. Either way, you can save a lot of money working directly from the ports than going to any wholesalers or dealers in your local town. Finally, the last step you will need to make is to find drivers. Generally at the train or shipyards, they have their own team of drivers that deliver, and you can finally ask them for their cost and rates to ship your containers for you. The prices are pretty reasonable, but if there are issues, just look online for local truck or hotshot drivers that haul shipping containers and ask him for estimates. I hope this helps you get an idea on the cost and savings you get when buying a container directly from the ports and let me know if you do have any questions below or share this to a friend that may need help getting one. Again, thank you and see you on the next video.